the fall of 2006, I was looking for a hill horse. I had Jaws, the horse that I won my first world title on, and he had had a lot of soundness issues over the past few years. So I started looking and making calls. I tried dozens and dozens of horses. I went to David Key's house to try a hill horse, and I looked over at the trailer, and this sorrel horse was tied to the trailer, and I asked him, I said, what's that horse? And he said, man, he's just a five-year-old. Really cool, but a little bit green. We went and saddled him up. My wife, Christy, was videoing on the fence. I ran one steer on him, and I remember riding by the fence, and Christy says, I like that one. Amigo is a 1999 model Sunday night bingo. He didn't work real great at his first rodeo. He was a little nervous and hadn't been anywhere, you know, but he tried hard at everything he did. It just seemed like he was a pleaser. He didn't know what to do, but he wanted to do whatever you wanted him to do. Man, he was a fast learner. It seemed like every run I made on him, he just got better and better. That horse has always done nothing but try to help me win. The way he reacts to the steer, he's always in the right spot. He knows how to open his stride up and run down the arena and shorten his stride up when he needs to. Literally slides and stops and in the same motion just crawls out of it and stays with the steer as if nothing ever happened. In 2010, just a fairy tale year, we were the highest NFR earners and placed an eight out of 10 go rounds at the NFR. Just the memories of riding that horse, all 10 rounds, seemed like every time we rode in there we placed. I mean, those are the things you don't forget. I rode him 86 runs in a row at the National Finals Rodeo. He has to have had over 2 million miles put on him in his career. Having a really good horse like Amigo, it spoils you a little bit and you don't know what you've got until it's gone. You know, he's 19 years old and had some knee surgeries and the long hauls, the being tied on the asphalt at the rodeo, all of those things come into play. Taking care of Amigo on the road definitely takes more time than just having a young horse that you throw on the trailer. Our ritual before we leave, we get him up, clean his feet really well, get his soft ride boots on him and get him wrapped up and put him in the trailer and then stop and make sure we move him around really well on the road. If we do that, he's ready to roll when we get there. This horse is a warrior. The more I ride him, the healthier and the sounder he stays. Man, I owe so much of my career and know for a fact that I wouldn't be sitting in this chair in this room if it wasn't for him. What a blessing he's been, not only for my rodeo career, but for my family. His future is definitely gonna be on the Smith Ranch, I can tell you that, he's not going anywhere. He's a horse that means too much to me and Christy and all my kids, they love him. And like I said, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him.